Hello tech people from morning till evening we all use internet to check messages on whatsapp to read your emails to watch any youtube videos and to search on google generally we'll get internet from jio airtel bsnl vodafone or other some broadband connections they are called internet service provider or isp so have you ever noticed how this internet service provider like jio airtel bsnl vodafone where they will get the internet and who controls the internet Today we'll discuss about the history of internet and explore how internet service provider connect us to this global network. Here we'll investigate into the world of networking and explore the secrets behind the internet connectivity. By the end of the video, you will get a deeper understanding about the internet remarkable journey and how internet become an essential part of our daily lives. The story of the internet started in 1957 where electronic telegraphs was used for digital communication. During the Cold War between Soviet Union and USA in 1957, the Soviet Union launched an artificial satellite called Sputnik. This is the first artificial satellite launched into the space to transmit radio signals and for space exploration and to beat USA. This event triggered the USA to establish the Advanced Research Project Agency ARPA in 1958. Later it is known as the DARPA under the Department of Defense. Paul Barron, he is a Polish American scientist working with ARPA agency. Barron's vision is to create a decentralized and secure network to prevent any kind of information leaks. So, he introduced the concept to call packet switching packet switching is a concept where your data is divided into number of packets and sent independently through the network and reassembled at the destination when you want to watch any youtube video you will simply type into your search bar and press enter after pressing enter your mobile device send a request to the youtube server then the youtube server looks for the particular video once the video is found the data is divided into series of zeros and ones which are called packets these packets are sent independently through the network to your mobile device and reassembled according to the sequence number this concept is a foundation of networks and still we are using packet switching concept in modern network technologies on october 29 1969 The first message in the world was sent through ARPANET which is login L O G I N two universities were involved in this operation in USA one is UCLA University of California and another one was Stanford University which is located approximately 350 miles away Leonard Kentrow an American computer scientist who is leading at the UCLA operating the sending system and Douglas Engelbert who was an American engineering leading at the Stanford Research Institute operating the destination system on the other side. When they send the first letter L, the destination device successfully receive the first letter L. When they send the second letter O, the destination device successfully receive the second letter O. However, when they send the third letter G, the system network get crash. This event became a significant milestone in the development of networks. Other countries like France, Germany, United Kingdom and India has developed their own networks for communication. Different different countries use different different protocols to communicate but most of the countries use NCP network control protocol to communicate which is less flexible and less scalable so to overcome this issue Winkoff and Bobcon has developed a protocol called TCP IP protocol in 1970 TCP IP combine two different protocol one is TCP transmission control protocol and second one is IP internet protocol later on TCP IP became the standard protocol for data exchange between devices on internet across the globe. Still we are using TCP IP protocol for communicate. So whatever data you are sending from device it uses TCP IP protocol. As the internet became popular worldwide, more people started using internet for communication and the number of the devices connected to internet also increased. HTML hypertext markable language is introduced in 1991 allow users to create websites on internet followed by Facebook in 2004 YouTube in 2005 Twitter in 2006 WhatsApp in 2009 Instagram in 2010 But who controls the internet 
Internet is not controlled by any single organization, but rather it is maintained by a group of individuals, organizations, and a government. The internet is made up of different networks, tier 1, tier 2, local and the city networks. Tier 1 and tier 2 are called the internet service provider, allow users data to travel around the world. Tier 1 network companies such as AT&T versions, Tata Communications, A Level 3 Communications, NTT Communications are connected across the ocean through a underwater fiber optical cable. As shown in this video, these Tier 1 companies are connected across the different countries via submarine cables. These setups ensure that whatever data you are sending like making video calls with the friends and families, making voice message, sending emails, text messages, all your data will travel across ocean through these submarine fiber cables. Maintaining of this cable is a complex and a demanding job. It includes regular checkups, fixing problems, making improvements. Usually a special ship is used for all this work. This ship has advanced tools to find and fix any issues in the cable. T2 companies such as Jio, Airtel, BSNL usually purchase internet connection from tier 1 companies. After purchasing internet connection from tier 1, they will build their own network by installing the base stations and cell towers across the cities. These cell towers are connected to the fiber optical cables and send the internet signals to the antennas on the cell tower. These antennas help to spread internet signals wirelessly to the people devices. Before ending the video, let me explain with an example that how your data will travel through local and the international network. Suppose you are living in India and you want to send message to your friend who is living in United Arab. This is how the data will travel through a series of steps. Your message is first converted into zeros and ones which are called packets. These packets is sent from your device to tier 2 zone which is your local network like Geo, Airtel base stations located in India. From there, it will travel through various routers and switches. Here routers and switches will help the packet to direct towards destination. Then the packet leave the tier 2 zone which is your local network and enter into the tier 1 zone which is your international network. Then your packet will travel into underwater fiber optical cable which is connected to United Arab ports. Once your packet reaches to the ports, it leave the international network and enter again into the local network. Finally, it travel through multiple routers and switches and then deliver to your friend device. So this is how internet is connected and we are all connected to internet. I hope you got a clear vision about how internet works. Thank you.